frustrated residents in mold infested apartments in the Northland are now fighting for healthy living conditions. We first told you about these problems at the Inglewood Apartments near Inglewood Road in Wacomas a couple of months ago. The owners are promising to fix everything, but some residents say they doubt that will happen. 41 Action News anchor Cynthia Newsom is live at that apartment complex. Cynthia, what are the owners promising? They are promising a $10 million renovation of this entire apartment complex. The catch is the renovations will only happen 30 days after the owners get federal funding, federal tax credits to help pay for the renovations. This was the scene in late July when residents decided to go public with their living conditions. HUD, Kansas City Health Department, and Fire Department inspectors looked at more than 80 units and found this laundry list of safety violations, including collapsed ceilings with insulation covered in black mold and water running through electrical outlets. Since the inspections, some residents told me their apartments still have mold, broken windows, and collapsed ceilings. One woman declined to be interviewed again, claiming it won't make a difference because she believes Millennia is taking advantage of the government and the system and said things will never change. No, not on my watch, and I mean that. Kansas City City Councilman Dan Fowler met with Millennia executives after the code violations. He apologized profusely. He said he was greatly embarrassed by this. Um, and uh, they pledged that they would repair all these things. Millennia purchased Inglewood in 2015. In January of this year, long before the code violations, the company announced the $10 million renovation plan and began seeking federal funds. Their latest statement explained construction will begin 30 days after they get federal funding. Do I like the idea of subsidizing something that on you know, a company that's on its face very profitable? No, I don't, but I have to keep my eye on what the ultimate goal is, and the ultimate goal is to get these people in some kind of decent housing that they definitely are not in right now. So right now, the clock is ticking for Millennia to uh, fix the code violations. If they don't, they could get a $450 fee for every code violation. Their deadline is by the end of this month. Cynthia Newsom, 41 Action News. Cynthia, thank you. We are